wise man named Stephen Covey once said that strength lies in differences and not in similarities. Each and every one of us has something incredible to contribute to our community, despite our differences. As youth who attended the Reaction for Inclusion Conference, a movement to change the culture of schools and communities to be more inclusive spaces, we want to start the conversation to empower youth with and without a disability to change the narrative on disability in our society. Unfortunately, we realized that more often than not, people who have an intellectual disability are not given the opportunity to pursue their dreams even when they have the capabilities to do so. We traveled to three high schools, Waterford District High School, Cayuga Secondary School, and Holy Trinity Catholic High School, and invited our peers with and without a disability to share their stories and their future aspirations. It is important to listen carefully. In doing so, you will see the power of our voices and that each and every one of us can reach our full potentials if we work together. Hi, I'm Noelle Michaud and I'm from Holy Trinity. Um, my name is Elizabeth Marr. I'm a grade 12 student at Waterford District High School. I'm Jackson Scott and I go to Waterford District High School. My name is Zane Long and I go to Cuga Secondary School. My name is Nick McKenzie. Hi, my name is Michaela Vincent. My name is Kevin Minja. My name is Jana Arnold. My name is Michaela. I'm Jonah Atkins. Hi, I'm Alyssa Newman. I'm Lindsay Vini. Hi, my name is Maddie Ball. I'm Bella and I'm from Holy Trinity. My name is Leah Snyder. I'm Ryan McDonald. My name is Chloe Craig. My name is Victoria and I go to Cuba Secondary School. Hi, my name is Matthew Kiernan. I'm Simon Young. Hi, I'm Joe Fazbury. My name is Jeffrey Whipper and I go to Waterford District High School. I am Ryan McDonald. Hi, my name is Abby Gibbons. I'm Bronwyn Ruda. Um, although they see me as a student leader, that I'm not perfect and that I don't have it all together. I'm an optimistic, happy person and I love music. I want people to know that I'm strong and um, I'm a very small person and people tend to think that I'm weak and I want people to know that I'm not. I want the world to know that I am proud of all of my accomplishments that I've made and that all of them were all of my choices. I want the world to know that I'm good at sports. I'm a genuinely friendly person, and if you need me to help you with something, you can just go up and ask, and I'll try to help you to the best of my ability. I do dancing and singing. My favorite dances is jazz and hip hop. I play hockey and I show cattle. Back when, in 2015, um, I went to Akron, Ohio to race um, at the All-American for Soapbox Derby and I ended up being the world champion and broke four world records. I'm always up to trying new things. That I hate bullying and I love peace and being around friends. To know that every day I do things that the doctors didn't think would be possible for me to do. <laughs> I want the world to know that my sister is in my whole life and that I have a life outside of having a sister with a disability. I know that I'm very uh, passionate about music and uh, other art forms. I like the music. I like to listen to alternative rock and I like to compete in boxing and wrestling. I want to change the world for one person at least. Graduate high school and to go to a good university or college. It should be um, a strong woman in the workforce, in the workplace, whether that's in uh, politics or law or science or wherever um, I end up in, and to make a difference in the world. I want to travel the world. I've been to a few places already, but there's a few more places like Australia, New Zealand. I hope to have a career that I can uh, that incorporates some kind of creative uh, activity. Anything to do with theater. I want to meet Thomas Rhett and Megan Trainer. I want to play sports when I get older. Um, I like to find a job that I'm good at and I like doing. And I also kind of want to like go backpacking around all of Europe. It's to be a ECE. I really want to travel to Africa. And I also want to go bungee jumping and skydiving. To play professional football or coach university level football and run my own business. So my future dreams are to go to university and study nursing and also to keep playing music. I would like to become a professional sort of player and be a Canadian to have a freedom of going anywhere in the world and become a pilot. I'd really love to meet Drake and I'd like to travel to Africa and make a difference with the children living there. For me, I would like to be a successful, independent woman with a job I really enjoy doing. Right now, that looks like a job in the STEM field. My future dreams after I graduate high school is to go through and become an educational assistant. I want to be a doctor and save lives when I'm older.
to have a fairly nice house, uh, beautiful children, a wife, and just being able to support my kids the way I need to. There you go to all the continents before and die. Um, I'd like to work as a physiotherapist, either with a sports team or with people with special needs. It's to become a genetic engineer, learn the human genome, and then use that knowledge to change it or alter it to help humanity. Um, I want to go to different places around the world, um, help third world countries, and just spread the, throw kindness around like confetti. My future dreams are to play in the senior men's national rugby team and eventually pursue a career in medicine. I met my dad with trucks. Um, I think we should just be open with everyone um, despite differences and just treat everyone equally and really get to know people for who they truly are instead of just what they look like on the outside. On a day-to-day -day basis, people need to treat each other with respect. People need to stop believing in stigmas and they have to do the research before they judge people incorrectly. People need to support each other's dreams, no matter what their dreams are. Everyone should get the opportunity, um, no matter what situation they're in. Um, and everyone should support it, no matter what. I think that everybody's perception needs to change. Uh, just kind of get to know them and see their talents and who they are. Uh, I think people just need to uh, Stay open-minded to everything. Don't just discount something because it's different from what you're used to or, or it's something you've never seen before. Always, yeah, keep an open mind. We need to move past the idea of what a normal human being is. The society has put out an idea of what a normal person is. They have to be, you know, this and this and this. And if they're not any of that, then they're abnormal. But in reality, there's no such thing as an abnormal human. Um, people need to be more, I think, almost more outgoing to the fact, like getting to know other people, not staying in such a close um, realm and keeping an open mind uh, to the other possibilities of the people around them and starting engaging in conversations. Uh, I think people need to be more open in including people, uh, no matter how they look or anything like that. People need to stop assuming that just because someone has a disability that you can't have a real conversation with them or that they don't have like interests like yours because I know that from personal experience you can have a real conversation with people with a person who has a disability and that they're usually really, really nice. People I think in general just need to work on like being more accepting. Um, of different of differences um, because we're so caught up and I don't think we even realize it but we're so caught up in like the social media like the um, the image of like perfection and like the image of um, normalcy um, and that if there's something different than that we kind of look at it and go oh that's that's odd so then we put a label on that um, to, for that I just I just think that like people just need to generally just be more accepting of differences and change. So people need to be more open-minded. For example, you wouldn't treat somebody with blue eyes differently than somebody with brown eyes. So why would you treat somebody different if their brain works differently than yours does? I think people are too quick to judge. Um, there's so much more to a person than their disability. Um, so I think instead of focusing on our disabilities, we could focus on our abilities and we can go from there. I think people have to realize that every individual matters in this small community, but also around the world. That people work together to make every person have the same quality of life. People need to stop judging others and to start helping them, like believing them in their dreams. They can use their resources to not only help themselves, but help other people achieve their dreams because everybody has dreams. Everyone's worth being heard. You can't look at someone and think, oh, I don't want to listen to this person just because they look different or act different. Everyone deserves an ear. Like my sister who has Down syndrome, people always look at her different because she has a different face, different body, has different actions. But really, she's always happy doing what she's doing. And uh, we always want to be like that, but really we're all different on the inside. We need to move past prejudice and uh, learn to love people for who they really are and uh, see what people can do instead of focusing on what they can't. My two younger brothers have Down Syndrome and they're the two most loving people in our entire family. The thing is, some people would fail to recognize that and all they'll ever know how to do is to love. People just need to stop assuming, I guess, and get to know people before they assume that they don't want to do something or that they can't do something. 
because they don't know that. Uh, people need to be more helpful and willing to give up their time to help people who need it. I've been very lucky. My parents have always supported me and since a young age have always advocated for me at school so I get the resources I need. Also when I was young I saw a lot of doctors and they made sure I saw the right doctors who understood how my brain worked. What people need to do differently though is that they need to see that Asperger's isn't a disability and just see that my brain is different than a neurotypical one. If you don't know the person but you do know that they do have a disability, don't rush things. Be nice, be upfront. Everyone's different in their own way, so accept them with, for who they are. <laughs> to support somebody's dream with a disability, you have to give them the opportunities and the chances so they can fulfill their dreams. For example, if somebody wanted to play rugby, I would bring them out to a rugby practice, immerse them in the drills, make them part of the team, let them sing our, our, sing our rugby song at the end of the practice and make them feel a part of the team. To be able to think about what you say to the other people and to include them that they feel we're one thing and not excluded. They need to ignore the fact that there's going to be obstacles throughout the way, but anything's possible. Instead of pushing somebody down, help somebody up. And just love each other and be caring and be there for each other. You know, acceptance is a huge thing. And if people just accepted people for who they are, I mean, bullying would stop. I mean, criticizing over the internet, cyberbullying. I mean, if, because we only live once. We only live once. So instead of trash talking people on the internet or bullying people, how about we come together as a community and just love each other? As you can see, we all have goals in life, things that we want to achieve, and dreams that we want to follow. Each and every one of us is different, and that is what makes the world so unique. We hope that through this opportunity that we have been given, that you are encouraged to focus on people's abilities rather than their disabilities. We need to end the negative perception of disabilities and work together to allow everyone to feel included and be given the opportunities to follow their dreams. Society is able to reach its fullest potential when people of all diversities and abilities learn to appreciate what individuals can do for one another. Let's come together as a community to support each other, to use our gifts and talents to become the best versions of ourselves that we can possibly be.